On um, to more yeah, positive. Yeah, oh, anyway. Yes, <laughs> more positive stuff. Um, oh god. I think more positive stuff. Deathly silence. Fuck the shit. So yeah, let, let's just have a look at the Billboard 200. How is that more positive? <laughs> Should we start at the bottom? Oh okay. boy, working our way up through the whole thing, jeez. Starting from the bottom, now we're here. So, um... It's a working our way out of the gutter. Right, so... Right at, right at the bottom, 1999 by Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That it is figures. a thing. Um, unfortunately, this will be a case of, I don't know him, I don't know him, I don't know him, I don't know him. Yeah. So, uh... Let's point out anything interesting. Josh Groban I've heard of, but only because apparently he makes lots of money and sells lots of albums. Mm. I don't know anything more about him. Yeah. Uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, I know, are pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't know they'd released an album last year. Um, then again, though, there are albums from previous years popping up. Mm. Yeah. Which also worked in one, yeah. yeah. Cringe Radio. Um, <laughs> of course, you... Oh, yay. Green Day. Yeah. And above them, Skillet. Well, shortly above them, it's five seconds of summer. <laughs> five seconds of continuous vomiting while. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Enya! Yeah, well, I don't know what to make of Enya personally. Dull. Painfully dull. Pentelix, though. That'd be cool. Yeah, Pentelix are cool. Um. Elton John, yeah, that's um, current year. Below that, though, I love that Kanye West's album just got completely fucking sandbagged by everything else. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, I, I actually, you know, I love the fact that the album art is just centre, 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 yeah. centre, centre, everywhere. <laughs> I kind of dig that. If that was a deliberate thing, that's fun. But I, I've, I've heard that's a good album, but I, oh, I don't really know. How did Kids Bop beat Elton John, though? That's weird to me. <laughs> Because everyone wants something to play to their children that doesn't have horrible filth, like badness, sick filth, you know. Uh, like when I when I was younger, but badness, sick filth is when you grow up. One, one of the families uh, I used to go, on, uh, my, you know, the family next door who I used to go on holiday with, you know, my family would go on holiday with their family to France. Like, uh, there's nothing worse than hearing a ten-year-old singing very loudly. I want to have sex on the beach, you know. Like, no, no, I do not. I feel sex. incredibly on the violence. Yes, precisely. All of uh, a sudden, I'm just put in mind of that one scene in um, about a boy, where he's walking, he's walking in the hallway, going, "Shake your ass, watch yourself." Well, if you go further up the list and go past Michael Jackson and Thriller, you then get Kid Spot 31, which is higher up than the charts. Well, yeah, but my point is that's why people buy kids, but mm. no one wants to hear raunchy lyrics. Why is someone buying Now 58? Isn't it like, well, like 96 or something like that now? Surely Now 58 should be like 1980s or something. Um, here's the thing, Richard. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But the problem is, so many of the songs on Kids Bop albums are sort of like, what? Uh, why is this think, here? It's like, as, um, Thrift Shop had a Kids Bop version made, and it's sort of like, why? It, uh, you're if you're t if you're ten years old and you've got twenty dollars to spend. More importantly, Thrift Shop is already the Kids Bop version of regular rap. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> I mean, yeah, the I only thing that... Th like, <laughs> I'm not defending it. I absolutely can't stand it. It is audio poison. But, <laughs> you know, th I'm just saying that's why people buy it. And the thing is, if, uh, to have a kid's book version of a, uh, a an already inoffensive song, it's because he doesn't... You know, who would buy an album for kids that's purely offensive songs made not inoffensive you want to have you can have a selection of everything that's popular at the time that it's released and now the new song by Robin Thicke 
fuzzy squiggles. It's basically no your mean, but then you don't. <laughs> oof, oh, that is a, that's. How is Gwyn Stefani in the Charles? Is she even relevant anymore? Yes. Yeah, How is fascinating that she brought back No Doubt a while ago? I don't know whether they're still yeah. together again. Piss. It was like, it, it was like I, I think it was like a year or two ago. She brought back No Doubt and yeah. they carried on making music, and I think it was actually fairly well acclaimed. Yeah. Uh, well. Piss. Yeah. You ask that. Somehow Britney Spears ended up in the year-end 200. How is she still relevant? How is Panic at the Disco still relevant? <laughs> How is Panic at the Disco still relevant? Never were relevant. Yeah, well, I mean, like, there's loads of odd stuff I wasn't expecting to see, to see in here. Like, but I guess that just—I guess it just means that some things that are good just continue being good. Like, I'm just seeing, well, you know, Back and Black by ACDC and uh, and Nevermind by Nirvana. You know, they're the kind of things that are just kind of evergreen, aren't they? You know, yeah. there'll always be people who like it, and it's always going to sell well because, well, for one thing, if you go into H and B and look for Nirvana, like most of the time, it's like three ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, Major Laser is pretty good, so it's good to see him here. <laughs> I'm just seeing number 152, just seeing a ti the title. Last year was complicated. Wow. By that was, that's, <laughs> that's the understatement of. <laughs> um. Oh, Pentalonics again. Yes. Well, why is Nicki Minaj still in the charts? Why was she ever in the charts? An album called Epic As Fuck. Just AF. Just. Oh. Oh. Uh, Trying to be hip, like, in fact, nothing says "How do you do, fellow kids?" as <laughs> as that title. Um, oh, for do lots of hooligans. Oh, that that almost can be fuck itself. Oh, we've got Kendrick Lamar in here. That's cool. Yeah, hmm. we mean to listen to that. I've heard very good things about it, but again, being a fucking plague that I am, I have not listened to it. Kendrick Lamar twice, actually. Oh. Well, uh, Two I've good heard. Ones. Uh, it's a bit of a butterfly from them, isn't it? What's the other one? Uh, Bukit Mar City. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Both apparently really good albums, so... Uh... I gotta say, looking at a lot of this, I'm, I can't, I'm just screaming intently, WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! Why have you not listened to all of it? Why is Blackstar on 64th from the charts? That is top of two way higher. What are the point what's above it? Uh, Prince? Hang on, wait, where, did, where did you say Blackstar was in the chat? 64th. Oh, yeah, so it is. Jeez. It's been beaten out by Megan Trainer. <laughs> at least, at least CA is near. I, okay. Yeah. I just check out CA. I've heard good Okay, I. Time for me to just go on a brief rant. WHY THE FUCK IS MEGAN Trainer STILL RELEVANT?! <laughs> because people will always have and always will have shit taste. As a shit taster myself, I can tell you, fuck? as a fine connoisseur of garbage... What the fuck, <laughs> Megan Trainer is right next to Chris Brown. Uh, that is uh, my own personal back. hell! Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just seeing here, number 56, that, you know, David Bowie got beaten out by Mind of Mind by Zayn. And, you know, it just goes to, it just goes to show that really this doesn't mean as much as maybe one would hope it would. I... I mean, that, 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 or, you know, that's, that's a good topic good. is back. I, 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 Why is Taylor Swift in 17th? Why is Tim McGraw still relevant? What the Tim fuck?! Relevant. Because raw numbers aren't the be all and end all of music, thank god. Fuck Fallout Boy, why are you still, still alive? Fallout Boy should never have existed in the first place. At least AJ Khaled's here. Is this the point where we start wishing that 2016 could have struck down some of the people we don't like? <laughs> we said it all year, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we pretty but, much were. But yes, there's only so salty we can get. You know, it, we're on to 2017 now, and as I said, this you know the, this era of musician murder is not going to stop. We may as well at least sort of just cross our fingers and hope that it strikes down some of the people we don't like. Well, not really, though. That, that, that's, that's too cruel. That's, it's I, one... I, 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 I'm not actually going to actually wish death on anyone, but I kind of just wish maybe they could just, like, take a break. I'll go on a very long break. Maybe Robin Thicke, but it's not here. It's oh, not come on! <laughs> Cringe as it may be. Okay, no. Uh, Suicide Squad, the album. 
but then again, you can't judge necessarily a soundtrack on the merits, or you know, the demands of the entire film. Can really you? Gone. No. No. So maybe. Well, yeah. The soundtrack itself is very good. Well, yeah. I mean, a perfect. Not very well applied to the actual movie. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah, they quite often, even if they have a good soundtrack, it's not necessarily properly used. But yeah, a perfect example of you can't judge a soundtrack by the film that it's on is um, Biodome's soundtrack. It's one of those, why? Why is this music here? And now I've got it associated with this Drek. One of the point, Flash Gordon is fucking stupid. It's great, but it's stupid. Yeah, <laughs> but... There you go, my majestic queen. Do you mean uh, David Bowie and Omicron? Why is there a mirror in that coffin? <laughs> <laughs> we may never know. It was a super relevant question. Speaking of people obsessed with mirrors, Kanye West again, the life of Pablo. That bolt on looks like the most... It looks like a shit post that was made on 4chan to make fun of Kanye West box art. <laughs> it does! I'm sure that we are probably mentioning a lot of albums that didn't come out last year but somehow managed to because billboard ju- a lot of what billboard charts is based on the sales as a- yeah it is pure sales all three of adele's albums have been on this yeah it's time to stop um oh god i mean demi lovato is on this list of well, of course she is so selena gomez yeah Cold okay, I'm gonna reveal. I'm going to suddenly sound like a really old man, but I'm gonna say, who the fuck is Ariana Grande, and where? Why is she everywhere all of a sudden? Uh, Ariana Grande. The answer is she's hot and kids like her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Basically, um, she's one of the. You know how? Uh, what's it called? You know how? Selena Gomez comes from Disney. Oh, okay, I don't like where this is going. Where where are we going here? Ariana Grande is basically the. I'd like to, I'd like to think you're going to like DreamWorks, and it's like she's been on like the <laughs> Mickey Mouse's. She like the same face. No, 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 like this. <laughs> Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. Play the uh, play. You know, on 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 the DreamWorks channel in between the Shrek Fun House Fun Swamp. <laughs> Get out of my chart. <laughs> <laughs> My album has layers. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, um, she started out on Nickelodeon with a show oh, oh. called Victorious. That's really weird. So, yeah. but, um... Would this be a good time to, to mention Poppy? Because it feels like there's never going to be a more appropriate time. Go yes. on. Go on. So, Poppy, as you may have, as some of the listeners may have heard from uh, various people watching her YouTube channel, and freaking out about how weird it is. She's basically meant to be a manufactured pop star satire. Uh, her whole she has she has her own Vivo, so this is a legit thing I can talk about. Um, her whole thing is that she's meant to be a product of Project Monarch, which is supposed to be a MK Ultra thing, where this is this is getting to, into real conspiracy territory, where. Big influential people kidnap kids and literally manufacture them into, into pop stars that they can use and sell over and over again. And then when their appeal dies down, they can have a, ooh, I'm edgy uptick and sell a bunch of other stuff like Miley Cyrus. Gen- genuine question. Is it kind of like um, in Sonic where you'd have the animals captured and roboticized? Kind of, yeah. Like... When you see people talking about this online, like it's always like, ooh, Miley Cyrus can't be the same person because she has a mole in a slightly different place. That couldn't possibly be to do with like her physically growing larger. I'm sorry, Disney, I was so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but like, the point is that they, they count out all plausible explanations and go, well, Looks like the real Miley Cyrus was killed and dumped in a desert somewhere. <laughs> you know, it's, it's... Paul McCartney died. Yeah, this. But like, 
Poppy is basically a straight up satire of all this sort of stuff. Like her image is all cutesy and stuff like that and, and hopeful. But her songs are really kind of the standard pop fare with a lot of sexuality in in it that's not really appropriate. Right. Oh, it's a K-pop. Yeah, it's basically a centre for that as well, you know. Actually, actually, you don't even need to go for K-pop. Uh, if you think about when Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and whatnot were first starting out, their music was very uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. yeah. I always said K-pop simply because, like, it feels like every time I look at a K-pop album, you know, it, it winds up being kind of like that. <laughs> well, maybe that's just me being shit at finding new music. Well, let me point out that one of the tags on her YouTube videos, I think, it, like, at least a couple of times, have been various J-pop stars, including, I think, AKB48 and Kiari. So they are literally just sort of really trying to hammer in home for the people who actually are, are paying attention. You know, this, this, is, this is satire. Um... But yeah, no, I think that's probably the most appropriate time to talk about this. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Shall we move on? Yeah, yeah. well, um, just the one other thing I was going to say about Ariana Grande is that the only reason that she was brought to my attention, despite the fact that she's really high up at like 20-something in the charts, is the fact that the first thing I heard about her was the fact that she's doing a cameo in the new Final Fantasy mobile game. She's like, as a, as a sprite, yeah, she's in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, I think it is, but like as a sprite. And I'm like, can you really call that a cameo? And more to the point, I don't understand why in like, you know, this, uh, you know, this 32-bit looking phone game, you have a pop star as, appearing as a sprite. Why? Why? I don't, I don't get it. But it, it's just because it was a weird time to see that. It was a weird way to discover that this person existed. Ye- oh, uh, sorry, that was, that was just... Well, I mean, I only know of Ariana, Gr- ah, Ariana, Ariana Grande yeah. at all because of um, other reviewers covering her and it's sort of like what's the big thing about her why is she so popular <sighs> well thankfully because she came from uh, nickelodeon really clears up that a lot yeah a lot <laughs> that really is all you need to hear mm-hmm. um okay so show we move on a little bit um probably an idea coming in at number 10 hamilton an american musical the the album yeah, I it's saw that. By, it's made by the uh, people who make South Park. Yeah. Really? Oh, no, 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 hang on. No, that's the Mormon one. Sorry, this is a yeah, yeah, yeah. successful. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very successful musical that lots of people in America are talking about constantly. Like mm. my pants. Sorry, boys, can't make it stop. <laughs> you know, shoot me before I can go any further. Oh, I just just very briefly tangenting for a moment that was a rather hilarious situation because Mike Pence didn't kick up a fuss about when he was when he was pointed out by Hamilton because they didn't say anything bad it was just a please notice us call out yeah, yeah, and, and, and yet a big thing was made of it and Mike Pence had to come out saying there was no big deal calm down it's fair criticism yeah when Mike Pence is having to come out and say calm the fuck down seriously yeah well again to the fighting last year mm. and my yeah sorry for bringing it up I really should have resisted but as soon as I see Hamilton it's a thing of yeah, it's fine because that is one of those what the... big moments of last year revolving around music yeah yeah great <laughs> More politics than everything. <laughs> um, I am part of the problem. We are all part of the problem. Mm. And no one is part of the solution. Um, it's good to see that 21 pilots are doing okay, though. Yeah. Because they're coming in at number six. Mm. I've heard a lot of good things. Yeah, I listened to a few of their tracks, and they're definitely worth a look into. And if they release anything this year, then definitely going to sort out reviewing even if it's just an EP or something, definitely sort out a review because they're an interesting group. They're sort of like, I suppose the easiest way to describe them is rock rap. Okay. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's a bit of a, tr- they're a bit of a tricky one to pin down because they kind of skirt through various genres. Hmm. Um, yeah, anyway, like, 
I mean, someone I, I, I've followed on YouTube for quite a long time, who is a musician herself. Mm -hmm. Basically, he went to see one of their gigs, I think it was this year or last year. Well, yeah, last year or the year before, rather. And um, basically, she immediately was just like, yeah, no, I'm actually excited to do music again, holy shit. <laughs> which, sell, which sells me on them more than anything, I think. Uh, anyway. Oh, God. I decided to have a look at the year-end pop charts. Oh, oh no, what? Well, top artist, Adele. Top new artist, Bryson Tiller. Never heard of him. Top artist duo slash group, 21 Pilots. So that's good to see. Top artist, female, Adele. Top artist, male. Bieber. Outside my periphery for the longest time, I you know I was barely aware he existed past that. What was it like a DUI or something he did? I haven't I've heard like nothing about him since then. Mm. From what I hear, he's improved a lot since the YouTube debut, but I thought I don't really look into this at all. So. Well, the problem is he yes he has improved to being very mediocre. Mediocre. Which is arguably worse, as I would say, as I've said time and again. I would much rather be annoyed than bored, because at least you are eliciting an emotional response from me. So, he's moved from being the sword art and line of music to the glass slip of music. <laughs> um, I, I gotta say, uh, there was like a Justin Bieber annual and Justin Bieber calendar or something that came out of work a few weeks back, and. I can't help but think he looked like he, he always looked kind of androgynous. Now he's grown a bit older, a bit beefier. He's, now it looks like now it doesn't look like he's a, a a girl. He looks like a girl's head stuck on a man's body. <laughs> well, he he looks like he looks oh, like well, Miley say, Cyrus. Like, yeah, I'm being really pro about my uh, professional about like this whole. Uh, but yeah, I'm talking real seriously about music. It looks like a woman's head on a man's shoulders. <laughs> uh, doesn't it look funny? <laughs> Boys and girls. Like, like some kind of fucking pantomime. I, I will admit, it is very low-hanging fruit. But... It is. But it's just, it, it just continues to weird me out. Yeah. And, oh God, Hot 100 songs. Love yourself. By Justin Bieber. Well, for someone who you claim only bores you and doesn't really annoy you as much anymore, you sure are making a bit, a bit of a furore about it. Well, it's just because there are genuinely decent pop artists who should be getting to the top of this list, and it's just pissing me the fuck off that they're not! Well, to be honest, I don't know that would never happen. The reason this is happening, the reason this sort of shit happens is because people are look, like looking at what they're going to buy, and you know they'll buy their weird favourite thing first, and, you know, that won't necessarily have as much in common with everyone else. And then, you know, they'll, they, they might just see Justin Bieber on the shelf and just go, oh, yeah, I might as well grab that too while I'm at it. Mm. It's that mentality that determines what's at the top. Not necessarily one's favourites, but also, it's the, oh, I might as well kind of thing. It's, uh, it... Because it's always the things that are second or, you know, our second or third preference that are the most likely things to have in common with other people. Yeah, but the thing is, is it's seen the most radio play and digital download and uh, it's uh, what the fuck um the most streamed song is panda by designer it's got two eyes in it i don't know designer yeah. designer well, yeah, i can only assume you're meant to pronounce it like those Kvornia adverts <laughs> what <laughs> 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 14 year old girls. Yeah. yeah. So basically, what you're say saying is we need to kill 14 year old girls. Well, and um, who finances 14 year old girls? Probably the Tooth Fairy. Well, should we do just kill the, the Tooth Fairy? The Tooth Fairy and Santa. Are you saying that, that 14 year old girls get into slugging matches where they knock each other's teeth out for money? <laughs> I want you to hit me as hard as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan we. Don't get away, him. <laughs> Dempsey, <Dancing> roll. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
is. Um, but the weirdest thing is, the most streamed artist is Drake. Uh huh. I mean, this is the pop charts. This isn't. I feel like for me at least, Drake has come out of nowhere, and I know nothing about him. Drake kind of was bubbling under the surface for quite a few years. He was definitely mainstream, but sort of, but he, he's another one that those that's very difficult to pin down as to where the fuck he came from. Because uh, where did he come from? Where did he go? Well, I know where he came from. Degrassi. I'm not even Where's kidding. He, he originated from the cast of Degrassi. Fair enough. Um, oh, God. Adult contemporary songs. Stitches by Shawn Mendes. Uh, that's a... That's a self flagit Flagellating? Yeah, self-flagellating song. And also just... Ugh, it's... Uh... Oh, okay. Adult pop songs. Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake. That might actually be okay, because Justin Timberlake isn't terrible. Uh, it's just depressing that Justin Bieber... I, I mean, that's the thing. If Justin Timberlake was taking all those those spots, I'd at least be able to go, okay, he's not god-awful. He's a contemporary artist that's... Fair dues. Hot country so Florida Georgia line, they're not country, fuck off. <laughs> what? There's a reason that this new country <laughs> for some reason it's just we're thinking about like this new country band from the inner city. <laughs> it says uh so many genres just sort of don't really mean what they really sound like they should be. Hmm. It just seems like in some places it would make more sense to just label something a new genre or a new subgenre, but nah. Well, like some some genres just don't make any sort of direct connections anyway. Like shoegaze, for example. What is that? What is shoegaze? I what? don't fucking know. Shoegaze literally originated by bands looking at their shoes whilst playing. That's literally the source of the term. But it doesn't directly flow into what the style of the band is. That's the problem. Yeah, I get you, I get you. It's just that quite clearly there's some kind of flooring classification. Evidently I can't work out the what you know the solution is. It's an odd one, so it's Yeah. So Rock Artists, Twenty One Pilots, Top Rock Artists, Hot Rock Songs, stressed out. Um and Hot Rock Songs artists oh, I don't get the differentiation there, but whatever. So, 21 Pilots, uh, Rock Airplay, Digital Songs, uh, Streaming, uh, Albums. So, 21 Pilots seeing good... Um, They're getting popular, to say the least. Yeah. Um, who the fuck are the Lumineers? I've heard of them, but... This is a name I keep hearing as well, yeah. It's a pretty common name, yeah. I've actually listened to anything by them, but I, I have heard of them. Uh... Hard rock albums, Disturbed, because apparently you can't call anything metal these days. Uh, mainstream rock songs, The Devil's Bleeding Crown by Volbeat. Yeah. Volbeat? Mainstream? The fuck are you on about? Yeah, I wouldn't say Volbeat's mainstream, but hey, if they're getting noticed, then... Hot R&B slash hip-hop artists. Drake is not hip-hop, but... Uh, Drake is just shite. Uh, needed me by Rihanna. Uh, I swear, these lists are designed specifically to make me pissed off that I'm not seeing Kendrick Lamar, Run the Jewels, Tech Nine. Childish Gambino, for example. Yeah, it's sort of like, why are they not on these lists? I will exterminate you until they are put on these lists. Well, this Kendrick kind of Lamar did show up in the uh, Billboard 200 like three times. Yeah. Well, I suppose Childish Gambino might turn up as jazz because his latest album wasn't R&B or hip hop. It was very to definitively fair, jazz. To be fair, I haven't listened to it yet. It, it was very much more a jazz album. Uh, seriously, chain so chain smokers, top dance slash electronic artists. Uh, Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay. 
These people need to learn about Perturbator. Or Perturbator. <laughs> God damn it. Perturbator did get used for the uh, MTV Music Awards show. So why aren't they on this list? He, <laughs> Who knows? even. Because everything you hope for is destined to never happen. What's this Perturbator is constantly being released in 2007 over and over again? It doesn't help that he's kind of stuck to the behind warriors, you know? Hmm. No one? Okay. Huh? I was making a Warhammer 40k joke. Oh. <laughs> I'll go back in my Oh! <laughs> oh, well, did you understand it? Did you understand nothing? <laughs> um, Lindsay Sterling, uh, it dance slash electronic albums artist. That album? <laughs> well, half of it maybe, but not the whole. Half of it was good, yeah. Who just doesn't collaborate with anyone again? That'd be good. Every problem, like, now and then, it really just... <laughs> <laughs> Into the isolation cube you go. It would be pretty in isolation cube is what it takes to her to, you know, continue making decent music when she knows how to do it, then go ahead. <laughs> no, no friends allowed. Um, who the hell's Nicky Jam? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is perhaps why we should have spent the past two weeks preparing and not doing everything except for I was preparing, but there's too much music! Well, of this, you know, a few dozen albums, just that none of them are in the charts. Yeah. I'm a horrible weirdo, so I don't really encounter this problem very often. I don't encounter any of this. <clears throat> Kill me. Later. <laughs> a skillet in the fucking skillet. Maybe we should just, you know, actually talk about the stuff we have listened to. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Oh, I mean, I, I, I want to even want to talk about this stuff anyway. We could, yeah, we could talk about I, I think much, we've done. Know, this stuff could be on all night, but yeah, we, we've done this list to death. It's. Ugh. <laughs>